Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Simon Says Stem. Today we have Pink Fresh, the beautiful partial cut floral frame. And we're gonna be creating a messy, easy duper duper watercolor. You're gonna need a piece of watercolor cardstock along with white. We need watercolors, distress oxides, and white embossing powder. Let's get started. We're going to begin by heat, by blending our eye spruce onto a piece of Nina cardstock. We're gonna do just the top of that cardstock. Next, we are gonna come in our worn lipstick, which is the darkest pink selection we had selected for this. Start at the bottom, blending up, and we're gonna leave a nice little space right in the center. Be sure you protect your surface. I am using some printer paper for this. All right, I'm gonna come in with my last color being Victorian Velvet. Absolutely love this color and I'm gonna use it to blend both the pink and that gray. We're gonna put it right on the center of the cardstock and I am using Distress Oxides because we're gonna be splattering these with water and this is gonna create a beautiful background for that gorgeous partial cut floral frame from Pink Fresh. All right, I'm gonna finish doing some blending and now we're gonna come in with our water spritzer and we are gonna spritz it. And if you don't have a spritzer, I am using my watercolor brush. Then I'm gonna grab some white watercolor and then add more droplets. And so you will have the droplets of the water and then you'll have droplets of the white. So we're gonna let that dry. Now we're gonna begin by heat embossing the partial cut floral frame. I have it ready to go on my Misty stamp positioner. Gonna be using my Simon Says Stamp embossing watermark ink. And I am gonna just make sure this is nice and moist and wet and ready to go. And I like to use my Misty when I'm using large stamps such as this, especially because I wanna be sure that I am able to press all those corners and I don't miss anything and I don't get a splotchy image. All right, I know you can't see it, I can't see it in person either, but you're gonna see how it reveals once we add that white embossing powder. Okay, I'm gonna finish up, I'm gonna turn, be sure not to touch the edges because that is ink and it's wet. And if you touch it, your powder will not adhere to it and then you might have to go back and clean it off and then re-stamp. I have my heat gun ready to go and we are going to heat set the images and be sure not to burn your fingers, grab it at the very edge and you'll see it just to pop up just a little bit. It'll get a little more shimmery, a little wet look to it. All right, once that's done, I'm going to come in with my watercolors and we're gonna do a very messy blob. I don't know how else. And we're gonna start revealing those colors. So I like to make the same flowers the same color. We're gonna allow that to dry. Now we're gonna come in and color those little daisies adding that shadow and again this is going to be messy watercolor we're going to come in and add some details here in a minute but for now we are just doing some revealing again super easy you don't have to spend hours and hours on your watercolor techniques it can be very easily done you just want to be sure that you don't make it so dark that when you come back to add your details that they don't show up Okay, so you see some of that yellow mixed with my green. It makes a beautiful lime green. So this is super fun. I suggest that you allow some drying time in between your flowers and your greenery so you don't end up with some pink leaves. All right, I'm gonna come back and add some of the shadows. Again, very messy watercolor, not, not sticking to the edges. And I think that's what makes it look so much fun. A very soft, a very easy. Going to come in with some brown and add the edges, grab more of that green. And as you can see, I go ahead and clean up my brush every time I change colors because I don't want some mixing. I'm going to grab one of that hunter green. I'm going to just add some to those leaves. And because there's still some water, it kind of just spreads out everywhere. Last but not least, I'm grabbing that pink and coming up and adding more of those shadows to the flowers and making them look darker. Just continue adding some details. It took me about um, five, six minutes to do this as opposed to if I was to go in and detail color everything. Now I'm gonna grab my scissors and I realized I didn't have my full little leaf cut there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut and again, very messy cutting. I'm not gonna go very, very detailed. I wanna make it super quick. 
I'm going to turn around and turn that so I cut the outer edge of the frame. And this is going to go over that beautiful ink blended background that we just created. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to follow the edges. I'm going to come in there when they finished and I went really close. I could see that I've missed some spots. All right, I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife and I'm going to come in and start trimming the interior of the frame. And guys, you don't have to use an X-Acto knife. You can just use it to get an entrance and then go ahead and use your scissors if you want to follow the contours of the flowers. All right, I'm gonna remove that last little piece. And that's, I think this is one of the issues with X-Acto knives that you don't get the exact edge, but that's okay. Like I said, you can get a little entrance and do a hand cut in the interior, or you can go get the coordinating die for this. So we're ready to be put our card together. So I have foam adhesive on the back of this frame. I'm gonna try to center it the best of my abilities. And it is super, super pretty. Now I have the Be Brave. I'm cheering for you all the way that I have heat embossed on white embossing powder on this gorgeous piece of sea glass cardstock. I'm going to put it down. I have foam adhesive on it. I'm going to flip this around and then grab my scissors and snip that very end. And now we have it. We are going to move on to embellish with some clear sequins. And these are sparkly sequins from Pretty Pink Posh available on the Simon Says Stamp store and then using my crystal katana to grab them and place them on the card. And that does it guys. This is Crystal Thompson for Simon Says Stamp showing you how to use the partial cut floral frame from Pink Fresh in collaboration with Simon for the Stamp Timber celebration. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Have an amazing day.